I just finished the last session with the client and what's going to happen now is in a month from now, I'll contact them and ask how things are doing. So let me show you how tasks, Evernote tasks, help me with that and how Tax Expander helps me with those tasks. Remember my client notebook? If you don't remember it, or if you don't know what it is, there's a link in the description below explaining how to create this and how to use this. So this is what I call the main node of a client. And this is where I'll create the task. You soon understand why I created here. And to create that task, all I have to do is type 30 D, 30 days. And there it is. Pretty cool, right? <laughs> Hold on, I'll come back to that in a moment. Let's go to my inquires notebook. Oh, let's call this client X. Okay, we had the discovery call. I took my notes. And what I'll do now is set a task to contact that person again in a week from now, just to know if there is still interest. So what I have here is another shortcut. In this case, it is 7. D, and this will create a seven day follow up. In both situations, I have to manually set the date. I don't know if there is a way to do it automatically. If you know how to do it, please let me know in the comments below. But at least the text expander created the task. We'll get there. Hold on. So let's go back to the green elephant and create a 30 day task here. Okay. Now let's go to Evernote Home and you understand why I create this task in the main note of that client. As you already know, I use the medium size tasks widget because that's the one that shows me the note where that task is. Not only that, I can click on that note to go to the note. This helps me transform a pretty generic task, seven day follow up. What is that? 30 day follow up. What is that? I can transform it into something with meaning. So this is a seven day follow up of client X. This other one is a 30 day follow up and the client is green elephant. And I can click here and go to that note if I need to. Now let's go to text expander and I'll explain you how I build that. You need text expander to do this. There are other videos here in the channel where you can learn how to use it. And we also need Evernote shortcuts. There is also a video here about Evernote shortcuts. You'll find the links to all these videos in the description below. So what we'll do here is create a new snippet. We'll use the parenthesis. This is the shortcut to create a task. Uh, from here, you can either hit the space bar or a the tab key. So text expander has this. So let's use tab. And then I can type seven day, seven, whoops, seven day follow up. And that's it. This is all we need to type to create that task. Now we need to give this a name, seven day. The abbreviation is what will trigger the, the snippet, but I cannot use 7D because I already have one that is 7D. I just showed you. So let's use 7X, okay? Let's create a new node. So if I type 7X, Text Expander will create that task. Just to show you, if I type it here, parenthesis and space or tab, the task is created. So basically what I'm doing is using Evernote's shortcut feature to create the automation on Tax Expander. Hope this one was useful. If it was, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And if you want to help even more, you can join my Patreon. Thanks for watching. See you soon.